Regino Romero is staying put. An effort to recall her has failed. The organizer of the petition says even though they fell short, he hopes they succeeded in sending a message. Not on your side's Brian Brennan reports. It appears they were just a few hundred signatures short of their goal. We just fell just short um, after the initial count. Recall Rahina 2020 Chairman Joseph Morgan admits more signatures would have ended up being thrown out if they had made it to the review process, but he says they still sent a clear message. I would say this recall Regina 2.0 is, is certainly um, a very real possibility. I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to happen right now. What I'm saying is it's a very real possibility. Morgan says the group launched their recall efforts last summer after Mayor Regina Romero unveiled the Black Lives Matter banner at City Hall and then later stood against a request to paint a thin blue line in front of TPD headquarters. When that took place, I mean, they literally they sent this thing into orbit. Morgan's group has been involved in a number of protests, including a maskless protest in front of Romero's house. He says the mayor's position on masks and a mandatory curfew helped the recall effort pick up steam. I had people who didn't agree with us at the start who turned uh, 180 degrees finally in, the, in, this, in this year, 2021, and said, uh, where do I sign? OK, they had enough. Morgan says while the recall effort fell short, the signatures still represent a significant amount of Tucsonans. Listen to what 24,153 legitimate signatories, forget all the people in the county who uh, signed and they weren't able to sign. Mm. Forget that stuff and, and say to myself, how do I how do we change? Ryan Brennan, KGUN 9, on your side. And Romero's office responded to the recall effort with a statement. Mayor Romero answers to all of the residents of Tucson who have elected her with strong majorities in every city election she has run in. This recall effort has was no more than a fringe group with unvalidated signatures attempting to overturn the will of the majority of Tucsonans. Nevertheless, she will continue her tireless work to build a more strong, sustainable, and resilient city for all Tucsonans, regardless of whether they vote for her or not.